White played e4, Wesley played c5, so Sicilian. Knight f3, Knight c6, d4, c takes d4, Knight takes d4, Knight f6, Knight c3, and e5. So typical in the domestic of Sicilian, which is, uh, which is very popular during that time. And knight d5, uh, threatening to go to d6, then uh, d6 of course, bishop uh, g5, it's very common in the domestic of the to give the pressure on this f6 knight, and the knight uh, could go to d5, so a6, Knight a3, threatening to fork the two knights. Yeah, knight d5. So Wesley played bishop e7, of course, because this is a uh, attack twice. Knight knight took on the bishop on e7. Knight took the bishop. So bishop d3, bishop uh, b7, developing in a strong diagonal, going to the king side and white played uh, queen uh, f3 helping his bishop to give a pressure on this f6 knight and knight knight uh, d7 of course c3 for the knight maneuver first e6 giving a solid foundation at e5 possibly in the future uh, black would push this uh, pawn on d5 to break the center if his king is already castled so of course white retreats to e3 then f5 wow the computer says it's the best move oh. because it's uh, <laughs> the pawn on e4 is spinned because of this uh, bishop okay so for example uh, White would play, let's say, queen uh, h5, check, g6. Then the best move for him is uh, go back to e2. So, on tempo, this pawn on uh, e5 is uh, would be taken free. Okay, so the queen cannot check on uh, h5. So, okay, moving on. So c3 f6 bishop e3 f5 then bishop uh, c2 uh, going for the option on this uh, diagonal a2 j diagonal so of course basically castle because obviously that that's the next move then uh queen h3 uh, going away on the pin on the e4 pawn then wesley played f4 so uh based on the computer analysis white is uh no uh wesley is ahead one pawn here because of this uh center these two uh three strong pawns on the center and the good development of the bishop the only weakness for wesley here is this d6 pawn so eventually when he has established a let's say a good foundation for this e5 he will push this pawn on d5 okay so moving on bishop d2 knight f5 f3 so it's very obvious that uh white will castle king side and uh, queen side rather and then rook will go here or this depends on this uh d5 or possibly he would uh, push up on undermine this pawn and uh, have a open g file that's the broad plan for white okay so moving on i g6 giving support on the e5 then uh, now white is uh, going for the attack g3 to have an open g file then uh, wesley played and yeah, the d5 break then white castles and wesley took on e4 wow lining up the rook on his queen but anyway it's not a big problem because if for example the bishop would take on uh, f4 the 
best move for Wesley here is just uh, check okay so it's been blocked then the king with the go to b1 then e takes f4 so in that position uh white uh, no black has a better position okay so west is who had already calculated that that's why he's not afraid to line up uh, his uh, queen on uh, that uh, diagonal oh sorry this uh, mouse slip okay so Oops. Took on e4, took on f4, and took on f4. Okay, here black has a two pawn advantage already because of his uh, better development. It's bishop and uh, this these two these two bishops just uh are just intimidating but actually they are not so strong okay so white played f takes e4 then wesley played queen e7 and also the big uh, problem for white is this uh knight this knight should have a uh, retreat back to c2 then uh, an option for him to help the Queen or any other attack is to go to e d4. So I think this is the big minus for white. So white played rook g1, knight e5. Options for c4 and d3. Then uh, white played b4 for this uh, knight to go back. So West chose knight e6. Then came bishop b3 to pin this knight. Temporary pin. Of course, Wesley support the knight. Rook uh, f1 to pressure this pawn. Then uh, Wesley played bishop e e4. So that's the drawback on the bishop on. Uh, b3 he has a diagonal he has that diagonal but he gave this strong pawn on the center giving a nice development for the bishop because the position of the bishop before is not that good because he is eyeing on a blank territory okay so moving on knight now that's he's trying to develop his uh, uh ugly knight to help to help the other pieces Wesley went out of the pin of the knight oh so this is a bad move okay so computer suggests uh, white should have uh, already uh, go for the exchange of the Queens because actually black is ma has better and uh, more coordinated pieces Okay. So white played knight e1, knight c4, and now the strong bishop is being blocked. He's not doing anything compared to this one. He has a big, uh, a beautiful position, tickling the king on c1. So of course white played uh, taking the knight on c4. And uh, the knight going for the options on king side attack with the queen and the rook. And Wesley, of course, goes for the option either entry through d3 or an entry on a4. So many holes. That's a big problem if you are pushing your pawn shield too much. Don't pu push your pawn shield very far. Because it will give uh, big holes for the opponent to take advantage. If there's no queen already, there's not a big problem. Okay, so of course, white blocks the d3, but Wesley has 
the A4. Threatening mate there and trying to threatening to take the A2 pawn. So uh, White resigned here because he has no attack and uh, he cannot take on uh, the E6 because it's a checkmate. It's very obvious. Okay, then the king is uh, already been uh, what you call that uh, attack. For example, king would go to a2. Ah no, b2. Knight would take on this knight, and the pawn on c3 would take on the knight. Then the position is very loose. Ah no 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 no. Sorry. The king would go here, the queen, uh, the knight will take on the knight, pawn will take on the knight, and queen will enter the c2. c2, square, and it's game over. Well, the best move, best try for white here is uh, take on the a6, but there's no more other choice because the threat on the uh, Queen C2 check is uh, very strong. Okay, that's all for this game. Uh, this is a beautiful attack by Wesley. So, thank you very much for watching. Good chess to everybody.